For the final time this year, please welcome Ben Delisi and the Daily Telegraph's fashion director, Hilary Alexander. <laughs> Guys, thank you for coming in. Of course, they're all doing four dances, so we could sit here for hours and talk about dresses, but uh, we're not allowed. So we'll look at their show dance outfits, because right. that will also, I think, give us a clue into what their dances uh, will be like. Let's have a look at what Aliona's wearing. I believe this is like country plaid. So mm. they might be doing something cool. You remember their first dance when yeah. they were going, oh, sheep, country file. Uh, do you like it, Hilary? Um, agricultural show, it ain't. No, <laughs> Definitely. no but it's, it's a little cheeky. <laughs> oh, it is a nod. wee bit rural. Yeah. Um, it's tweed, it's very cheeky, yeah. shorts, and it's got a kind of equestrian feel. Yes. Because you've got the little waistcoat, a bit like dressage, Ooh. and you've got all those harness sort of um, straps going around the back. I think it's very, very cute, and I think that gives us a hint. Yes. Perhaps they're going to do Farmer Giles. Nice. Nice. I don't know whether they thought about that. Ben, do you like it? I think it's actually unexpected. There's a contradiction mm. in here That's with having, cool. ha having yeah. the sort of, sort of the tweed for, for a dance. The tweed, it's in it in its uh, its structure, its construction is not the kind of fabric that moves and is fluid. Uh, I think that the, the the trick here is that they probably have some hidden stretch satin uh, bands between the yeah. seams, the racer back uh, that's all bejeweled with jet stones, as is on the waist. It's going, <coughs> give it, it's going to give it that little bit of allure. Okay. I know it's a difficult question, but who would you like to win? Um, I'd say, oh, it is hard. I'd say Matt, just because like, me, Matt and Scott have all had jobs as well, so it's been difficult for us. Yeah. So I, yeah, I think Matt, you know, because he's worked really hard as well. Okay. Dance tonight is Matt Baker and Aliona Villani. Here's how they got on in training. Show dance, it's the most important dance of the night. This will push Matt to the limits. Yeah. It requires an enormous amount of energy, an enormous amount of strength. <laughs> we have all these different styles of dance put into one routine. Nice. Matt has to be on top of his game. Two, three, hold. It's the final. You have one chance and you just want to go out there and give it everything. It could be our last ever dance. Please welcome back Matt Baker and Aliona Villani. Sorry, was that what you were looking for in a show dance? Ah, why? Well, that's a good question. Yeah, you know, the um, thing is with show dance, what you want, you want a, a, a routine that makes you feel good, you want music that inspires you, and you want to come out and have fun and entertain. And I think overall that's exactly what you did, Matt. You came out... <laughs> 
You were full on. It was excited. There's a few too many stunts and tricks for me. I would have liked, you know, you did a little bit of cha-cha-cha over there, which I enjoyed, but I would have liked a little bit more dancing, maybe, but that was it was fun. Opinion. Right. Well, just, well said. Alicia. I like the tricks. I like that you put a little bit of street dancing in there. That was cool. It was really nice to see you showing off your gymnastics ability, and I loved the breakdancing break dancing section as well. I thought it was really entertaining, so well done. OK. <laughs> Definitely. I had no idea you had so many tricks at your disposal. <laughs> and they were all there to see a gymnastic extravaganza. And I really can see you put a lot of work into it. There are some points they made they actually right. I think because you put so much into it, sometimes the, the links between the sequences, you know, the street dance, the tricks and the cha-cha were a bit not quite as slick as they could have been, but very entertaining. Very good. OK. <laughs> now then, Craig. I'd say it wasn't entirely for me. It was too static in places. The amalgamations did not actually flow together very well. I just felt you were stopping and starting. I love all the tricks and the flips and all of that stuff. But for me, the whole idea and concept of it didn't completely come together. A bit more dance in with it. Yeah, OK, well, it's their view. They all loved it, but who <laughs> say? Go on, off you go. Be proud. Right now, wow, you threw everything but the kitchen sink at that. Brilliant. Yeah. We've been looking forward to that all series, I bet. <laughs> well, we just didn't want to hold back, really. We just thought, look, we'll just go in, we'll lay our cards on the table, we'll risk a load of stuff. We just, you know, still want to try and get through into the next one, and then, then we'll do a nice relaxing day in these walls. Sneakers, street dancing. Of yeah. course, you are a trained gymnast. I mean, that's really playing to your strengths, isn't it, that routine when you can incorporate yeah. that. It's got to help in a well, show dance. I did pack in when I was 15. It's different doing it as a boy than it is a, as a man. But, still uh, got it, Matt. <laughs> You've still got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's nice to keep having a go, I suppose, but I'll be aching for a week now. And your wife's yeah. in the audience tonight. She must be she so is, proud yeah. of you. Yeah, she is. I mean, she's just been incredible and immensely supportive. How on earth I've got here, you know, she's just been brilliant. Well done. You're brilliant. The score's yeah. been. Time now to collect the scores from the judges. Craig Revel Hall. Seven. <laughs> Lengu. Nine. 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 Words can't describe it. I'd lo you know, I'd love to, but it's a great final. You know, the dancers are doing superbly well, so it's just, to be, it's just great to be in such a lovely company. It's too close yeah. to call. The couple with the fewest viewer votes will be the first to leave tonight. Back. Up there at the top with the highest total score, Pamela and James with 77. Down there at the bottom, it's Matt and Aliona with 72. But don't forget, tonight it is genuinely all down to you. It's your votes who decide who wins? And if you're having trouble getting through on the vote lines, please wait a few minutes and try again. Voting details can be found on our website at bbc.co.uk forward slash strictly. Now, their journey began in September, and since then, every ballroom step has been leading to tonight. So if you want your favourite to win the biggie, the glitter ball, then you need to pick up the phone and give them your vote. Here's a reminder of all tonight's dancers. To vote for Matt and Aliona, call 09015 22 2001. have put on such an incredible show tonight. But the couple with the fewest votes from you will sadly be knocked out first. And those left standing will go head to head with two more performances each. Lines will be frozen at 8.30, so if you want your favourite to win, pick up the phone because your star needs you more than ever yeah. before. 
So we're back here, five past nine, live. And then we'll find out who will be crowned Strictly Come Dancing Champions 2010. But until five past nine, and get it right for once. Keep dancing. dancing. No, get back. show dance will be the coolest thing I've danced throughout my dance career. Hopefully the audience will enjoy it. Show dance, it's the most important dance of the night. This will push Matt to the limits. Yeah. It requires an enormous amount of energy, an enormous amount of strength. We have all these different styles of dance put into one routine. Nice. Matt has to be on top of his game. It could be our last ever dance. I like the tricks. I like that you put a little bit of street dancing in there. That was cool. It was really nice to see you showing off your gymnastics ability. And I love the break dancing, break dancing section as well. I thought it was really entertaining. So, well done. OK. I had no idea you had so many tricks at your disposal. <laughs> and they were all there to see a gymnastic extravaganza. And I really can see you put a lot of work into it. There are some points they made they actually right. I think because you put so much into it, sometimes the, the links between the sequences, you know, the street dance, the tricks and the cha-cha were a bit not quite as slick as they could have been, but very entertaining. Very good. Okay. <laughs> now, the